I honestly never thought I'd be doing this video. It's scary. Um, not gonna lie, I'm terrified. I really don't want to do this, but I feel like I have to. And I feel like I have to record it because it's such a big, such a huge moment in my life. I've had these bookshelves for maybe five, maybe six years. And yeah, we've been through a lot. They've seen me cry each night as I finish another K-drama. They've seen me throw books across my room when I don't like the ending. They've just, they've lived so many different experiences with me and I am so grateful, you know, for all the support and all the love that they've given me. But it's time to get rid of my bookshelves. I'm gonna put a clip of the thing that has made me decide to get rid of these wonderful bookshelves because to this day I can't stop thinking about it. To this day I'm still traumatized and it's not like I want to traumatize you guys but I just need you to understand. So viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> okay I'm sorry I was trying to be dramatic, I was trying to be serious but it didn't pan out. I wasn't kidding about getting rid of my bookshelves but the reason that I'm getting rid of my bookshelves is because This video would not be possible without the help and support of Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people with a bunch of different classes on different subjects like creativity, productivity, lifestyle, videography, photography, so many different subjects, I can't even list them all. A class that finally pushed me to make this video is Design Basics, Simple Steps to Your Perfect Space, where literally the first mini project that the, the teacher gives you is to decorate your bookshelf. So it's kind of perfect. If you're looking to learn something new to make the most out of this time that we have to stay at home, the first 1,000 people to click on my my link that's on the description will get two months of Skillshare premium to test it out and then if you like it it's only less than ten dollars a month so that's amazing and yeah thank you so much Skillshare for making this video possible and let's just keep talking about my trauma then <laughs> I found a freaking snake in my books right here in front on top of my Harry Potter books, there was a snake slithering all over them. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, I wish I was making this stuff up. The only reason that I knew that there was a snake here is because I saw the Philosopher's Stone on the floor. And I was like, why is that, why is on, that the on the floor? I usually I put it next to next Chamber, Chamber of Secrets. Secrets. Why, why, why is that, that on, the floor? on the floor? It shouldn't be, it shouldn't on, the be on the floor. So, you know, I, I, I keep on getting closer trying to see like, wh why is it on the floor? I, I just don't understand. Um, so I keep on getting closer, my nose almost touching my bookshelf. And then I hear it. I hear a snake. <laughs> doing that little thing that they do with their little tongues, their little cute, disgusting tongues. He was doing, or she, or it, was doing it all over my Harry Potter books. Um, to be more specific, over my illustrated edition of Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Ever since that night, I haven't been able to sleep well because I just feel like there's a nest Somewhere in my bookshelf, there is a nest of little snakes waiting to crack open and just slither all over my books all over again. So that's why I'm getting rid of my bookshelves, but it's not forever. I'm just going to be taking out all of the books so that I can clean them with like Clorox and anything else that might kill bugs, insects, anything, you know, just, just like to get them out of here. But first, I wanna take out all of the books so my books don't suffer. Right, so I'm going to insert a clip. This is evidence of one of my most traumatic nights that I have ever lived in my 22 years of life. There's a lot of screaming, so lower your volumes. Prepare to run. No. No, Snakes don't go fast. No, I'm fucking trembling. Sube, sube el zafacón, amor. Chill, girl. 
Holy shit. Okay, wait, let me help you. Alright, so before we get into the dismantling of my bookshelves, I did just want to do like a general overview because I really do, well, did love these bookshelves and this one specifically was like my favorite shelf just because I feel like there's a lot of my favorites and I just did such a good job. <laughs> So yeah, that's that on that. And then in the center, we have my color organized rainbow bookshelf, um, obviously red, orange, yellow, then green, then blue. And then because I ran out of colors, I just put a white one. <laughs> then we have my Shadowhunter books, um, which I love to death. I would give anything for them. And then we have my Harry Potter shelves, which we went by so quickly. I'm so, so okay, okay. And then we have my, th okay, why are we going so fast? Okay, hold up. I'm gonna go back a little bit and, um, okay. So here we have my Harry Potter shelves. I love them. I did have to divide them in two sections because I have the original classic ones and then I also have the Bloomsbury ones and the illustrated versions ones. So I just wanted to know, you know, give each one its proper space. And then the next shelf under this are just a bunch of throwback books. Honestly, these were like the very first fantasy, dystopian, young adult books that I ever read. So they hold like a very special place in my heart. And then the very last shelf, you can't really see it because my desk is in front of it. So I don't, I don't really pay much attention to this one. It just has books that I don't really care for but they look kind of cool this way so that's why I did this and now we can move on. Going back to my favorite bookshelf, I'm going to be showing you a few things that I have apart from books. This is a little kitten that I got in my Dark Dawn Illumicrate box I believe. It's my pride and joy, I love it. Here I have a Danny Funko Pop that was gifted to me by my best friend and I also have some fan art of the books. And here I just have some very beautiful books on display. Um, also some bookmarks from the Grishaverse and a candle that I got in a bookish box. And here are my iconic Six of Crows character cards, which I don't know if I'm going to be putting up again, but I still really love them. These are some A Court of Thorns and Roses magnetic bookmarks that I got from Chloe which are also my pride and joy and I love them so so much and yes um, this is a candle called Starfall and it smells divine and I love it I also have some throne of glass pins this one is from Manon and her wyvern from now until the darkness claims us I love it and here is a candle that one of my beautiful friends sent me and it's probably one of my absolute favorite candles ever. Here of course we have my Shadowhunter collection with my Will and Gem candle and the Shadowhunter character cards that is inside that pouch. I also have some other character cards from Lady Midnight and the Dark Artifices. Again we can see my Funko Dumbledore with my mini Momo, my favorite Harry Potter bookmark, my glasses, and two character cards. So without further ado, let's just get into the clearing of my bookshelves.
mess. I can't, I can't get up. Well, that's all the exercise I've done this quarantine. Glad that I could get it on camera for you guys. I'm so tired. Okay, so as we can see by the empty shelves behind me, I have finished <laughs> breathing. Um, I can't breathe. Um, but yes, I have finished taking out, I can't breathe, all of the books of my shelves. They are all officially empty. It's such a weird sight. They haven't been empty in so long. And I mean, I know they won't be empty for long. It depends if I procrastinate the cleaning now, but hopefully it shouldn't be empty for too long because my books do need a home. I don't want them just being in a spare room without anybody to love them. No nests were found, so I can finally sleep comfortably without having a panic attack at night. I can sleep with both of my eyes closed, not thinking of any nests, any snakes slithering up my bed while I sleep. Yes, those thoughts are not in my mind anymore. <laughs> so now, um, yeah, now that they're all empty, I can't get over how empty they look, like, like, what? Um, but yeah, they are all officially empty. I've said that like 20 times already, I'm so sorry. I guess I'm done for this video. Thank you so much. If you're still here, thank you. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Hopefully you weren't as traumatized as I was by the snake and um, I hope you guys are having a lovely evening or day whenever you're seeing this and I will see you next time. Bye! I love you! You nice, keep going!